What? Are you serious? <laughs> Did that actually happen? What's going on, Bam Queen? Welcome to Anything for Reaction. And today I'm going to be reacting to the evolution of Jason Voorhees animated this by Tell It Animated. Now, Friday the 13th is an absolute classic, but also like really creepy. And I'm really excited to see this. There's always a link to the original video in the description down below. Also, guys, I need to tell smash that subscribe button. Let's go and check out the evolution of Jason Voorhees animated. The Friday the 13th films are known for horror icon Jason Voorhees. Yes. <laughs> From misshapen boy to space monster. Oh Let's go through his progression. Jason first appears in part one as a bald, deformed child who drowned at Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, dang, his mother man. later avenges his death, only to be killed herself. Oh! In part two, Jason is alive somehow and seeking revenge for his mother. He's full grown and wears a plaid shirt over. Dang, dude, what? Oh my goodness, man. That was absolutely. Oh. A one eyed sack. Unmasked, his head appears lumpy, oh. patchy, long hair. Jason is bulkier in part three and acquires. Dang, man. Oh my goodness, dude. What? Man, like, this iconic hockey mask and trains the overall. Yeah, it's a hockey mask. And a green Changed dress the way everybody looked at them. his hair for a shaving look and oddly shares little resemblance to himself in part two. Yeah, he changed like so much through that, man. Oh my goodness, like that is absolutely so crazy, man. And the iconic look, like for sure, man. I feel like it changed the way like everybody looked at like hockey masks and stuff. Like if you look at a hockey mask, like you're automatically thinking like Jason Voorhees, which is so In crazy. The chapter, Jason's clothes noticeably have more wear and tear, and his face looks much more deformed. Oh. He's sliced to death by his own machete and presumed dead. Dude, he changed so much through that. What in the world, dude? Like, he went through, like, a major transformation right there. Jason, in the new beginning, is revealed to be a copycat killer. So let's move on. In part six, Jason lives. Jason is brought back to life when lightning hits his corpse. While zombified, he dons the same attire, but... <laughs> Wait, lightning? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I guess, man. Uh, what? <laughs> the climax, he is chained to the bottom of Crystal Lake. In part hey. seven, the new blood, Jason is let loose by a girl with psychic powers and now sports a chain around his neck and clothing that is even more tattered, revealing bone underneath. His mask hey. is broken and reveals an extremely rotten Ooh. face. But once again, to stop his rampage, he's sent to the bottom of the lake. Oh! In part eight, Jason takes Manhattan. Has Jason awoken by... Dang, dude, I feel like he hasn't really gone through, like, too many changes. Like, the tattered clothes, and I guess the the most recent one is, like, the most change he had with, like, the bones and stuff like that. But I feel like, for the most part, Jason stayed, like, relatively, like, the same, which I think is definitely cool. By electric shock and finds a new mask. <laughs> He now seems perpetually wet. He hops a boat to New York, and once there, <laughs> it's melted away by toxic sludge. But don't worry. And oh! Jason goes to hell the final Friday. Jason is alive. Again. His mask is now embedded to his face with a wisp of hair. Uh. Then the first 10 minutes, he's blown up and presumed oh! dead. But the film carries on as his ghost possesses other people. He eventually resurrects himself, but is soon stabbed by a magic dagger and dragged into hell. Jason is... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that is absolutely just so incredible. What in the world? Oh, my magic dagger. What? That is crazy. Prison by Freddy Krueger for their crossover, Freddy vs. Jason. Oh, yes. His mask is no longer embedded. His skin appears leathery. It is game life. He's also sporting a new brown coat. Like the most iconic, like, matchup ever, Freddy vs. Jason. Like, that is, that's phenomenal right there. Yes, like two icons going at it. I feel like we need, like, more of these. Like, I feel like Freddy versus Jason like I feel like it really opened up like a lot of opportunities that we could see I mean I would like to see like more matchups I mean like that would be absolutely amazing Jason X shows Jason back to his normal height and flesh colored skin and his face here is lumpy he's cryogenically frozen and let oh my goodness dude oh my what in the world oh my dang dude they went through so much change through that Loose on a spaceship and later rebuilt with nanotechnology, which gives him a shiny new mask and bodysuit with nowhere left to. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Did that actually happen? Oh my goodness, dude. What? Oh my goodness, man. The Jason series was rebooted with a more classic look in 2009. There we go. Uber Jason in space. Thank goodness we went back to the classic look like that. <laughs> I was like, through the beginning of it, I'm like, yeah, I can dig like these, all these subtle changes. Obviously, you need change. Um, everything needs to evolve in it. But that, la like, next to last one, I was like, Jason went to space. Oh, whatever that was. I mean, oh my, I don't even think I've seen. I've got to go back and watch some of these. because I've, like, forgot some of these. Man. Oh, my goodness. These are absolutely so crazy, man. 
I mean, like, Friday the 13th is an absolutely, like, iconic franchise. I mean, and uh, Jason really didn't go through many changes. I feel like um, a lot, like, Text Chainsaw Massacre is the one I just reacted. He went through, like, so many changes. But I feel like Jason, for the most part, except for, like, the maybe the second to last one, I feel like he, like, remained relatively the same, which I think is absolutely so amazing. And I actually totally dug. Like, this was so amazing. But it just, I feel like I've forgotten, like, most of these, man. So I've got to go back and, like, refresh myself because these are actually, like, really interesting, man. Because I feel like I've forgotten, like, most of these, man. This is so amazing, though. Like, tell it animated. These animations were absolutely just so phenomenal and just so creative and so well done, so well edited. I mean, these animations were just, like, depicting, like, the whole, like franchise of friday the 13th which i thought was absolutely just so amazing and these were just so incredible and that was just absolutely just <laughs> so amazing what do you guys think about the evolution of jason Voorhees anime let me know in the comment section down below also click that bell to turn notifications but as always guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it. you guys did enjoy the video as always guys i'll catch you in the next reaction video